Okay, so what you do is you go to ipad2g.info in the description and then um, when you're on when you're on that as I am now okay you click download here What mirror you want to download? I normally go for the mirror three. So, okay, download that, set it all up, and then it asks you to find your 2.2.1 form. You just click browse, and make sure you've downloaded it from the description, and then make then just find it on here. And then it will say moving firmware, please wait, and take about 10 seconds. You click next, and you can click use custom boot logo, and you can choose a boot logo. I'll choose a penguin, okay. And then you click create firmware. You might want to post a video about now. Okay, so. You create the firmware and you click next. It'll ask you to put it into DFU mode and press pre jailbreak. Put your iPad in DFU mode. Um, all you do is say that this is the top of my iPad touch you hold the power button it'll be on the top and you hold the home button that's my bottom of my iPad touch <laughs> big crap in here so you hold the home button and you hold that for let's say 10 seconds and then when you go when you get the dingle you release release the power you release the power button but keep hold of the home button until you hear the next dingle and then it'll say it's in DFU mode then you can click start pre jailbreak and then your screen will go white on your iPod and then on your computer it will say pre jailbreak complete you click next step It'll say, now that your iPod has a white screen, go to iTunes, and then hold shift on your computer, and click on the restart button, restore button, okay, and find your custom firmware, which will have appeared on your desktop, I'll just show you now and load it and I should come up with the iPod okay so then you hit your iPod and pop up saying iPod needs to restore 
lodestone at lag from everything. Um, you get this, and then you hold shift. Wait, then I'm just gonna keep that out. Screen, screen. What you do is you hold shift, hold that shift, and then you click restore. Okay. So shift or shift and click restore. And then you'll get a pop-up saying, do, uh, where do you want to restore from? You click desktop, you scroll down to the custom framework, which has just been made by Quick Freedom, and you're on your way. So, and then you have your jailbreak nightbird. Tethered. So you can switch it off Let's see if this works I switch off probably pop up saying can connect then you switch on no it didn't work Put it off so you can see my iPod in boot. So, that's how we do it. Slide it off. Close that. Okay, so it's off. And get ready to press connect. I switch on. Connect. It's your connect. Then uh, uh, it pops up with my penguin boot logo. No, you ain't seen it. It's not very good. But yeah, it's rebooted. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Uh, comment, rent, subscribe.